In this video, we're going to be talking about the cost of living in Lowell, Michigan, and we're getting after it right now. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your good buddy, Jimmy Cagle, right here in Grand Rapids Metro. If you haven't been on my channel before, I do a ton of videos on what it's like to eat, sleep, play, have fun, hang out, work in the Grand Rapids Metro. If you've not yet subscribed, start now by hitting that subscribe button and then tapping that little bell so you're notified each and every time I drop a new video. And honestly, I'm helping so many people from all over the country relocate, buy and sell right here in the Grand Rapids Metro, and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking of moving or relocating here, you have to give us a call, give me a text, give me an email, uh, however you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when you're uh, moving to Grand Rapids Metro. Yeah, so we're talking about what the cost of living is in Lowell, Michigan. Lowell is about 20 minutes outside of Grand Rapids, it's part of the Grand Rapids Metro. So the medium income for uh, Lowell is about 52,000 roughly. And the medium home price for Lowell is 223,500. Okay, well, and now we know the median house costs 223,500, but I wanna go over um, what the, um, some of the homes look like for what price point, so you've got a good idea of what those are. So these first two, uh, you can look, this first one is about $150,000. And I'll give you a good idea of that. This next one is closer to 200, but it's about 150, probably 175 to 200 range. Uh, and this next one is uh, like 225 to 300. You can see the other, this other one here, same thing, 235 to 300. It was a good idea of kind of what uh, what to expect. And then I want to also give you a couple that are a little bit on the higher end side. So here's one that's 435. And you can see that that's got some, uh, you know, it's got a barn, a pole barn with it. It's got some good acreage. That's that's some of the uh, that's some of the cool things you can get on Lowell uh, because it's got a lot more land to it if you're not right in the city. And then uh, this other one, I mean, this is 450. And now uh, this is a nice house as well. And then last but not least, I want to give you a, a really nice one. This is 650. This is what I would call like a mini plantation. <laughs> but you got the pond back there. You got the main house. You got a, a garage. Then you got another garage and just a gorgeous piece of property. And then they've got all the woods behind it that's included in the property. And that's that's about 650. And obviously the inside is going to be amazing as well. So that should give you a good idea of what the home costs and what they what you're going to get for your money in Lowell, Michigan. And now that we've talked about how much it costs uh, to buy the average house, now let's look at what it costs to rent. And rent, renting, as I talked about in the Grand Rapids video, um, Lowell is almost as bad as Grand Rapids as far as how fast rents are moving up. So it's great for investments, but it's tough if you're renting. And then if you look at this uh, uh, graph right here, it shows the average rent in Lowell is 1,238. Uh, and, and for that, you get about an average apartment size of 953 square feet. All right, so if we take a look at this chart right here, this is gonna give you the average rent in Lowell by bedroom size, so how many bedrooms you get. So if you look at the top one, you can see the orange is um, Lowell. So the studio is about $641 a month. Uh, then you go down a little bit, and a one bedroom is $759. A two bedroom is gonna run you know, around $931. And then a three bedroom is around $1282, which is closer to that average that we talked about before. And then if you look at a four bedroom, even though there's not a ton of four bedrooms, but you might get a house that is a four bedroom, that's gonna run you in the range of around 462 and up. But that's a good average price um, of what the apartments cost in uh, Lowell, Michigan. And to show you how hot the rental market is in Lowell right now, and all of West Michigan, uh, the rents just from last year increased 29%. So that'll tell you how high that's getting. And I can tell you the homes aren't moving up that fast. I mean, they're moving up, it's got good growth, but it's definitely a lot cheaper to buy something than it is rent right now. So now we talked about renting, and you, so you've rent the house, you own the house, or you own the house. Now let's talk about utilities. 
The average utility cost uh, for a month is about 150 bucks a month for water, sewer, electric, gas uh, in the city of Lowell. Okay, so you're living in your house and you're paying your utilities. So now what? How do you get to work? Transportation. There's good transportation in Lowell. I mean, it's definitely a spread out community because you've got a downtown Lowell and then you've got you know some suburbs of it and then you've got a lot of rural parts of Lowell where there's you know farms and tons of acreage and things like that. So um, there's what they have is called uh, LRTA and that's the Lowell Regional Transit Authority. And that's a bus line that would take you almost anywhere around the city and just outside the city. And that's about 100, excuse me, yeah, it's $120 for the bus ride a day. <laughs> it's about $1.25 uh, for the bus for the day uh, to get you all around the city. And then if you want to go to the suburbs, it goes up to about $1.85. And that's getting out there a little bit of ways, but you got good transportation. Um, there's also biking. There's always, there's bike paths all over the roads, which is nice. Uh, but it is, again, like I said, it's kind of spread out. So your best bets, uh, most likely, is a car for transportation. Yeah, there's, a, there's bike trails that are obviously to get around uh, Lowell, but there's also a really cool bike path called the uh, Fred Meyer Flat River Valley uh, Trail, and that goes all the way from Lowell all the way to Belving. Um, and that's more, that's most of it's paved, some of it's not paved. So that's a great bike ride for uh, just, you know, for fun and for exercise. And and then, you know, because parts of uh, Lola rule, your best bet's still going to be a car. And the average price of gas right now in Michigan is about $2.06. And what is it? It's uh, August 22nd, uh, 2020, about 5.30. <laughs> so that could change. Uh, so if you want to know what the current gas prices are, go ahead and hit me up with a comment and I'll give you an updated answer on this and any other questions you have. All right, so you're working hard. Why do you work? so you can enjoy all the awesome food and beer uh, in the city of Lowell. <laughs> Some pretty good pictures there. Uh, so the average meal for a couple in the city of Lowell is about $50. Obviously that includes a couple of brewskis uh, or some wine, whatever your uh, preference is, or liquor. But uh, that's for the average for a couple, for, you know, have a couple beers and some food, 50 bucks. Uh, per person for an individual meal, $12 like it is on most places in the country, unless you're somewhere really expensive, like Chicago, New York. Um, what's uh, also is uh, there's some great restaurants around Lowell. You can see a couple pictures of some of the cool restaurants right here. And um, they've also got a couple really good breweries. Uh, one's the Big Boiler uh, Brewery, which you can see a picture of right here. And then the other one is the New Union Brewery. Um, you can check that out too, which is great. They both got food and beer and really good beer, and I like them all. <laughs> Um, and if that's not enough for you, you're only about 24 minutes, 20, 25 minutes from Grand Rapids, and they have 80 breweries. That's a lot of beer, and I like almost all of them. <laughs> so uh, they got plenty of beer, and if you want to, if they're not covered in Lowell, you can go to Grand Rapids, and it's about 20 minutes away. So there's a lot of good food and beer there. And you know, when you uh, buy something in, in Michigan, whether it's food or our service, you want to make sure that you know you got to add 6% sales tax. So we do have a sales tax here in the, in the state of Michigan. So let's talk about healthcare. You can see that low right here, if you look at that diagram, is below the national average. Not a ton, but it's definitely below, so it's not. It's a little less than the average, and uh, that's a good thing. The average monthly cost for insurance for a healthy person under 40 is about $166 a month. So you can kind of plan on that. So let's talk about low cost of living compared to uh, the rest of uh, Grand Rapids Metro. So as you can see by this map right here, the darker the color, the more expensive it is to live, more the higher the cost of living. So you can see Grand Rapids is kind of in the middle, Kent Woods a little bit more, uh, Cutlerville, but then when you look like right in the middle by Grand Rapids, that, dark, that darker spot, that's East Grand Rapids. And uh, then you got Forest Hills, Byron Center, and then you can see Lowell right here where I got circled is uh, one of the more expensive ones too. So. It's, a, it's and part of that is because it's got a great school system, it's great living, they got a great downtown, and they've just really been growing and growing and growing, which is pretty awesome. So that should give you a really good idea of what the costs are to live in Lowell, Michigan. And one of the co coolest things about Lowell is, is it's got, like the downtown's got that old school country feel, as you can see by that picture right here. Um, but you still got a big city feel in the fact of the school is awesome, uh, great education, great facilities, and then you've got you know sprawling neighborhoods. So you've got 
uh, suburbs where you've got brand new houses, you know, ranging from you know 150 to 200, and then you've got some nice neighborhoods that are like three to four, and then you've got other neighborhoods that are you know four to 600,000 and up, and then you also get a lot of the just you know people that want to that work in Grand Rapids, but they want to live more in the country where, you know, they want to buy five, 10 acres and you can get that lull. So you've got a house on five, 10 acres, you're, no one's right by you. And then you've got a nice house, and but you're still, again, as you see this map that I showed earlier, you're still only about 20 minutes from Grand Rapids. So it's not a bad little commute. Uh, so Lowell is a great place and I'll be doing other videos on Lowell. And if you have any questions about it, let me know. Um, I'm happy to help out. I love helping people. I love talking about real estate in Lowell, Michigan and all of Grand Rapids Metro. So if you have any questions, like I said, give me a comment, let me know. Reach out to me. I'm here to help you in any way I can. Give me a call, give me an email, text me. However you want to get a hold of me, I've always got your back when you're moving to Grand Rapids Metro in uh, the city of Lowell. Thanks and have a great day.